Hello, welcome back for another first impressions video. And we have today Graveyard Keeper, a Stardew Valley esque adventure builder, a life management sim. So let's jump straight in. Oh, let me turn the music off, unfortunately. Alright, new game. So yeah, what I've seen of this game, it's very similar to Stardew Valley, but instead of managing a farm, and all sorts of things other than that, we uh, have a cemetery. Why not? Yeah, why not? So, surely this will be an interesting adventure. It is an ordinary day, and our... Hero was hurrying home when someone... Oh, I missed it. I'm too slow. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for... Why is it written such a strange way? Especially when you know that someone misses you, blah, blah, blah. Ah, so it's going to be one of those. Okay. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should go to Jerry. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Okay, inventory chest... Ah, uh, we don't have a... Ah, uh, we can cook. Okay, we can't open the hatch just yet. Alrighty then. So we've got... Wood storage. Uh, rock storage. Uh, stone storage. Okay, so we've got to get our boy up. Okay, we hold triangle. Holy sad, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, sad, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? Uh, the man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where are... Where the sad are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember the sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very r wrong with that animal. Hmm, it could be dangerous. You know, I think I'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Alright, so this is a donkey. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? <laughs> I'm cheap labor. This card ain't in mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? <laughs> The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of the, this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's fresh. Still f what? What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember our eye exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. Press use X to pick up and drop large items. So, I like this place. Feels like home. But the body on the top. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, um, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. 
What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut up. Shut the side up and do what I tell you. You promise you tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Okay, we've got blueprints. Preparation place, palette, extract flesh. So let's chuck it on. Um... You've unlocked a new technology and got create burger, create sandwich, create baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay, we have a mysterious fog enveloping the cemetery, as is tradition. Oh, we're gonna make some new plots. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goats, skulls, and upside down stars for decorations. Oh, gosh. Uh, these ones have people in them, so they're occupied. You just sit there for a second. Um, grave site. So, got, oh, I gotta get rid of some of these things. So we can do three by, I mean, yeah, let's do there. Um. Easy. Nicely done. Hmm, the burial certificate. I remember. Money, alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it. A lot. Rosad, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why, why do I have to come here every week? Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Alright, so we've got the current location name, important location information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need some special resources to do that. Create wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha! I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha ha! Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I came here every uh, red thing. Maybe I'm dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Uh, why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha! I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Uh, how can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Okay, so it's the same stuff. We already know that one. It's not going to answer. I'm not the keeper. I was 
I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to punch cockles. Haha, a fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Ha ha. Blessed and beautiful. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. To craft new items, you need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press uh, touchpad to open the technology tree. Read point, red points represent your handcrafted skills and your ability to work with materials. Green red points represent your knowledge about the nature of things and nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You get your first blue one at the study table in the church basement. You earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying your items at special table. Stone stock pile. Gathering stone rock. You can collect a small amount of stone from a small rock or get a huge piece from a big one. Timber stockpile. Gather small tree felling. Chop down a small tree to get one log. Gathering stick. You can collect sticks from dry bushes. Okay, so we've got a full tree thing here. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so we've got gems. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, we've got the character. We've got our flesh certificate. We do have a rusty axe, rusty pickaxe, rusty hammer. And some repair kits. Uh, the bishop, the donkey, and we've got a map. Okay. I wonder if I can make a, uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got some trees to chop down. Okay, that one's fixed. Um, so we do have energy we get to manage. How can we get back? Okay, so I want to fix. I want to fix this one up. Oh, we don't even have a thing. Okay. That one's a minus three. Okay, so I haven't got enough anything left, okay. So 
So I have to improve the quality. So just fix all the, all the, the, the graveyard. So I need to make repair kits. So now heading to the village. Can I sprint? Is there a real faster button? No, there is not. Which hill? Okay. So yeah, um, so far I think it's apparent to me that it's a well-made game. I suppose the theme, maybe the challenge in this situation, that you do manage a cemetery and then you're selling the flesh of the bodies. Alright, um, we need to sell this, so let's talk to... Again, I know you talk to everyone and it's kind of a... Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Haraldric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure, it's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Alright, I need... Uh, let's start here. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificate. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What did you mean? The village is going through a hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with this town. With the town, does your meat have a stamp? I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get the stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way, I'll tell you, just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every red thing. I bet she can help you to find Snake. Thanks. Ah. Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kurzweil? Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Okay, so... Uh, yep. Okay, so what do we got? Teleport stone. Great pie. Oh, we got to get the beer for, um... You must be the new graveyard <laughs> Okay, I'm just getting all my voices from here. It's too much effort. So I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you learn as long as I have, you probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Miss Chain, Haradric's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about. Oh, you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Oh, recipes. Num. Better talk to my husband. Let's trade. What have you got? We've got fish delicacies, tasty and healthy, sweet baking, pies. Okay, interesting. Okay.
Okay, I can't talk to anyone else. So we're gonna to go to the blacksmith, deliver the letter. We're gonna go back, deliver the beer. How do I get in the houses? Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Cresvoid. Uh, give me a letter. A letter for you from Hydrick. A letter, of course, one minute away, and he can't bother to come himself. Eh, I guess I'll have another day. Thank you, sorry for my rat nagging. It seems it's one you have it. Hmm, slimes again, Hydrick is just going to get rid of him. I don't have the time for these pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take the rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can, you can repair it with the whetstone on the ground or up behind. You can keep the whetstone, maybe you need to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring the reins and I'll spare you some materials. So be right up to the other side of the house, near the puddle. Energy. Different actions in the game are spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press square to attack. You can also refill your thing with potions and food. You know what? I'd like to do work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find metal ore in the swamp soil. It's a huge swamp to the west across the river. Just collect all there before the bridge collapsed. A furnace. Nice. Okay, what can I buy from this guy? We've got just pretty basic stuff. Ingots and redstones. Okay. Alright, I better get back to base and sleep before I go off and kill those slimes. I think the different atmosphere is probably why the game isn't didn't hit the same appealing factors as like Stardew Valley, but I don't think it's you know it's obviously a good game. <laughs> Come on, it's just knows what it is, but we'll see how the combat feels when we're killing the slimes. But I'm not expecting too much. Again, the bits that really the building and the management. Psst, come here. Where you been? I was at the village. The place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Side, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing, I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Nice. Wait, exactly. I remember baking bread for a minute. And pies from the sweet berry pies. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer, Side. You know what? I need a beer. It's beginning to feel like a once our relationship. Bring me a beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff like, hey, you can get home. Yes, can you tell us? Rhetoric. Do I look like a magic kid with answers? Well, technically, yes. Ah, do you smart us? I'll be waiting for that beer in my place. No beer, no answers. I already got the beer. You don't want it? Let's go give him the beer. What do you mean? I got a beer. Look, it's right here. Oh, God damn it. So I can't clear any of that out. Since I drank my beer. Oh, I drank enough. Okay.
Hmm. Okay, out of energy. Hmm. I suppose the angle of you wanting to go home and leave, I think, isn't a good thing for a building. Sort of relaxing type game. I feel like the premise sort of forces you into it. Playing the game in a way that I don't think is ideal. But I suppose you just had to ignore that. What's that sound? Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, I've got no energy. Give me your energy. All right. Okay, so you have to wait for it to... Oh, I'm so refreshed. This is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveguard keeper. Hooray, a keeper. Wow, I've been here for, um, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. we really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Jerry? Funny. Ah, the half-dead skull of jealous bastard. Ha <laughs> ha. You can only dream of what a peaceful rest we are having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? He's such a dummy. To dig up corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. God, you know, there's a lot of bureaucracy in this graveyard keeping. Alright, let's go dig him up. Where's the river? Hmm. The garden, property, and forfeiture for commercial use contracts. Okay, so I can't claim it yet. Is it always raining?
All right, here we go. What do you think you're doing here? Our ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Ah, he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of bodies is to burn it. The river's somewhere down the town, I think. Oh, God. That's what I'm talking about. Each important character the Gravity Keeper meets will appear on the character screen. Characters are in relation from 0 to 100 to show a bit below the character. So, uh, let's go do the combat, and then, I think it was over to the east, wasn't it? Was it? So what do I think of the game? I think it's, it's okay. I mean, it's, I think it looks, it's well made. I think it's well made. But I suppose... It's a bit dreary. Uh, I can't sprint. Just swinging the sword, it loses energy. Oh. I feel like I need to buy a whole bunch of food items to restore energy. What? I can clean that up at the end of the town. It's a donkey. There's a new body. Okay, we'll have to go back and do that. Um, keep going. Good job, take the best stone, sharpen your broken tools, and then us new.
Ceramic bowls. Okay. Oh. Greeting, villager. If you have any spare silver, I can't hear amazing things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he's got like okay, expensive stuff. Whoa, the donkey's just like, not now. How do I build the repair kits? Oh, careful not to accidentally swing your sword and lose all your energy. I want to know how to build more stuff because I've Use the blueprint desk to access the building interface and start building or moving objects in the area. Some objects will be built immediately. Some of them will little require more stuff. Okay, we don't have anything. We don't have anything of value. We can't make repair kits. We can't upgrade the graves. And I'm out of energy. Much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely. It was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. I finally tell you each corpse is a soul's first that bears the mark of his life. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, remove their organs, make them happier.
Alright. So we can't build anything. So I need to buy the recipes for these things or something? I didn't return, okay. What a pain. I've got to run all the way back. I can't carry double logs. No sons of the forest here. Let's put one more. Oh, is that mushrooms I can collect? White flower. Okay. I mean, I might put the music on, but it's like, I feel like it needs it. Alright, let's put the music on. Just on like 50. Alright, so can we build anything? Oh, these don't count as logs. Alright, let's go to town. Alright, tell me what you think in the comments. If you get to this point and you haven't died of boredom, you've done well. It's just... I don't know, I think these sorts of games are tedious. It's good you're making progression, but I just feel like I'm, I'm not quite getting... If once I get the repair kits for the graves and stuff, I think I'd feel better, you know. I'd be like, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Let's go talk to his wife. Mm. Can we rob them? Okay. Oh, is that a dungeon or something? Fireplace slash dungeon. Oh, I completely forgotten where the merchant was. No, he's around here, around here, around here somewhere. So we had the lady selling stuff, and then the merchant was around there. No? Oh, oh. I'm a guard in the dark. Okay, um, can't find him. Oh, he's only here on certain days. Okay. But, um, again, I don't have the recipe for the repair kit. I thought I did the burial. So I got a bit of money. Got a bit of money. I wish I could sprint. Oh my gosh. Alright, how long have... <laughs> okay. I have none. All right, so much for planting. Brothers, but 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 brothers,
Alright, so we got a whole bunch of missions. Uh, I need to go into the hatch and get rid of all this stuff. So I need lots of stuff I don't have. Wonderful. So I can build a trunk out here, timber stockpile. That is a timber stockpile, we got that the furnace. Alright, that'll do, that'll do. Um, it's fine, it's saved. So yeah, this has been Graveyard Keeper. Um, just a nice, peaceful game. For the most part. But, um, yeah, I just sort of fell asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't know. If it's really cheap, it looks like value, looks like there's lots to do. Again, it's Stargy Valley, only slightly more morbid. But, um, yeah. These sorts of games aren't thrilling in the early stages. Again, it's it's an accumulation of your progression and your development of the, the area you're in charge of. So you feel invested in the world because you put time into it and sort of just pays off with the character development and all that sort of stuff as you progress through. But yeah, um, it's not a bad game at all. Yeah, it's been Frosty Fire 10 playing Graveyard Keeper. Show you the early stages and I just fell asleep. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.